Okay, we are now going to start with IELTS speaking part one. Part one is very simple. It will give you more confidence in the exam. You could, when you enter the examination, like uh, speaking test for speaking test, you'll be like this because there'll be actual examiner. And sometimes we think about examiner as a Dracula or Godzilla or any anyone like that, right? In the room, there'll be one person sitting and all that. So don't worry. Part one is there to relax you. Okay. Uh, in part one, they will ask you some questions on familiar topics. Familiar topic, you know, like penaj ki pakaya, something like that. <laughs> These are familiar topics. So they will not ask you any general knowledge question. They will only ask you general questions and you can answer. Now let's take a start. And answer should be given in three steps. Answer the question directly. Elaborate your answer in two to three sentences and then conclusion. So let's take a start. Uh, do you live in a house or flat? I live in a house. Um, uh, which uh, is the first thing is you need to talk actively, not like a chha pata nahi, not like that. Okay, actively, <laughs> energetically. Energy is what you require, and there should be smile on your face, and that smile will go to examiner also, right? So answer again now. Do you live in a house or flat? I live in a house, and uh, uh, that house is consist of five rooms. Um, the, the three bedrooms and uh, two dining uh, and uh, it consists of uh, double story also and uh, okay two kitchens. all right that's good now listen you should make sentences do you live in a house or flat i live in a house in my house there are two bedrooms one washroom two living rooms three days four days five days you're not making sentences so you should make proper sentences that's important right now let's go on. What is your favorite room in your house? Obviously, my own room is my favorite room because uh, uh, that's uh, decorated. My own taste and uh, everything is uh, um, I select for decoration. Would you like to live in the same house <laughs> in the future? That's how you are answering, huh? <laughs> Would you like to live in the same house in future? Yes, of course. I uh, want to live a long time in my own house. Okay, this is a very short answer and this answer does not contain any information. One thing is we call it content. Content of your answer. What is content? For example, would you like to live in the same house in future? Well, I've never thought about it. Uh, if I don't go to Canada, then most definitely I'll be staying in the same house. But if I get the visa, then... I would live in a new house in Canada, something like that. So this is what we call content, right? Would you like to live in the same house in future? Achha, oh, I don't know. Same house, good house, I stay here. New house, no good house. Old house, good house. Yeah. So not like this, okay? Don't communicate in uh, words. Communicate in proper sentences. That's important. Okay, it's your turn, please. Now, you're going to answer my questions. You can clip that mic as well. Uh, let's go on. Your topic is about hometown and hometown is the most common topic in IELTS, right? Home country, hometown. Uh, tell me about your hometown. I'm from Lahore, Pakistan. Actively. I'm from Lahore, Pakistan. It's a big city near, near Indian's border. Okay, this is a very short answer. I live in Lahore, Pakistan and this city is quite large. It's very close to Indian border and this city is the city of culture and heritage. So this is all about my hometown. I mean, don't give too short answer. Your two short answers will irritate the examiner, right? Now see some candidates, examiner says, what's your favorite color? Black. <laughs> yeah, where are you from? Lahore. <laughs> That's it. Then the examiner will say, why, why? If you irritate the examiner, you will be irritated. Mm. Honestly speaking, right? So just give full answer so that you don't irritate the examiner. Uh, what do you like about your hometown? Well, I like many things about my hometown, but I like most my uh, food because there are a variety of foods in my hometown, but good. I like biryani too. All right. Uh, do you think your hometown is a good place for young people to live? Well, I think yes, because uh, there are a lot of things to do in my hometown, like uh, uh, there are a lot of gardens. My hometown is famous for uh, gardens and as well as uh, many uh, restaurants. There are a lot of shopping malls and you can watch a lot of uh, movies and theater. Okay. What do you dislike about your hometown? I think the drainage system 
uh, is not good in my hometown well i think it may be improved in future now this is again a short answer what do you dislike about your hometown uh, one more thing you can categorize your answer what do you dislike in your hometown first of all i don't like the drainage system because whenever it rains there is plenty of water everywhere secondly talk about second thing and that's it okay all right would you like to live in the same city in the future yes definitely first of all it's my birthplace and uh, secondly i like it uh, be here because uh, there are uh, there are many facilities like uh, as i earlier <laughs> said education uh, hospitals uh, shopping malls clubs and many more good that now you are on track but at the end there should be one sentence conclusion so these type of things i always like or these type of things are good for young people there should be one sentence ending of your answer okay let's go on please get the mic your turn all right your topic is crocodile <laughs> so let's ask you some questions about crocodile. Okay, do you like to spend time with others? Yes, most of the time I like to spend time with my family, friends and cousins because it is a time when you spend others and uh, we have a time to explore other sorts. Uh okay, now one thing whenever they ask you question with do you, don't use we for your answer use i for your answer the first thing and uh, the second thing when you're saying do you like uh, do you like spending time with others the first thing should be yes of course i do or no i don't so first answer the question directly and then you can elaborate further points let's go on how do you uh, how do you feel when you spend time with your friends Uh, yes i feel very good when i uh, spend time with my friends because uh, we have a lot of things to do we are uh, uh, have a lot of uh, talks conversation with uh, my friends and we meet uh, after a long time and uh, okay now and uh, and then full stop yeah <gasps> when you don't know anything how to finish your answer after speaking a sentence look at the examiner smile and say madam full stop means <laughs> <laughs> my answer is finished yeah that's what one teacher said in a fu funny video said full stop full stop means be quiet all right let's go on do you like to spend your free time at home or outside i like to uh, f uh, spend my free time in home uh, because i am very introvert person so i didn't like to go outside i don't like to go outside now okay. still this is the short answer you need to add some more that is important do you think you have enough free time no i don't think so i have enough time because i have a very busy schedule uh, first morning in my college university time and after that i have to go my academy and after i have to spend some time with my family and okay like that. that's good thank you very much now let's move on it's your turn please uh the topic is about animals so <clears throat> do you like animals well uh, i think uh, every creature that is made by god every creature every creature that is made by god is has its own importance but if you ask me then i love fishes all right yes now listen the first answer should be general okay and then you can come specifically uh -huh. do you like animals obviously i okay. love animals they are the creature of god mm -hmm. and some of the anim animals are so delicious that's why <laughs> i like them very much okay, okay. good answer <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right so let's go on uh what is the most popular animal in your country now don't say donkey okay yeah <laughs> okay not for uh, eating otherwise yeah okay i think uh, the most uh, popular one is the horse uh, because uh, in our uh, like my hometown uh, it is famous for the wall city okay uh, and there are a lot of the horses which are used for the carrying purposes basically they they are used for the carriage okay uh, variety of the loads right. are carried by okay them. now try to speak fluently mm. okay. and uh, don't repeat one thing go okay. on with the next one have you ever had a pet animal um, no i i don't think so because uh, i am a kind of phobic person so whenever i come near across the animal of any kind i just uh, it just gets on my nerves and i can't uh, my let, let myself to be relaxed 
okay. by watching such animals. All right, that's good. Focus yeah. your fluency, mm -hmm. focus the content of your mm -hmm. answer, then it will be fine, mm -hmm. right? Okay, okay, thank you very much.